Hi everyone. Today I'd like to introduce you a brand new feature, Mastrain, which was released in GitHub 12.1. This feature is incredibly useful when it comes to prevent master from being broken state. So the problem here is that um, sometimes a merge request is merged into master branch. This merge request had a successful pipeline and so maintainer uh, did merge the merge request. But it turned out uh, the pipeline runs on master branch after the merge didn't pass some tests so that master branch is marked as um, broken state uh, which gets uh, failed pipelines. So we are seeing this sample project. This is a very basic Ruby on Rails project and uh, I have already added a pipeline here in GitLab CIMO file. And this pipeline has one job, this test job, and it executes Robocop command this is a lint check tool and it checks if there are any coding offense in the source code. Now let me demonstrate how master branch can be broken at first. Let's say I'm developer one and I'm going to change one of the lint rules which is defined here. Here's uh, uh, one of the rules and I'm going to enable this. This doesn't allow empty method to be defined in source code. And I'm going to create a new match request. Okay, seems good. And now we're back to project page and now I'm developer number two and this developer is going to um, add a new method and this method actually doesn't have any content so it violates the lint rule which just introduced by much request one. Let's see, we're going to this file and let's edit. Now we added um, this parse method, but it doesn't have content. So it clearly violates the rule um, introduced in merge request one. Let's create a merge request. Okay, now open two merge requests. Here's a merge request one. And here's merge request two. Okay, now let's get back to project page and um, this time let's pretend pretend like a maintainer of this project. Your responsibility is to merge merge requests into master branch without breaking uh, master branch. And now uh, you are seeing to merge request, merge request one and merge request two, which seems good because both merge request has successful pipeline. Yes. So you would think that um, maybe it's time to hit this merge button in both merge requests. So let's try to merge. Okay, now both merge requests are merged. Let's see master branch. Here's a, a commit history of master branch. And now we are seeing that um, this commit is uh, made by uh, merging this merge request, merge request one, and it has a successful pipeline. On the other hand, the um, as a com merge commit, which was uh, created by this merge, uh, merge request, has a failed pipeline. This is because, let's see, the 
job log. See, um, it seems uh, the change introduced by Mudgebreaker 2 violates one of the lint rules, so the test didn't pass on master branch. So I've reverted both merge requests and brought back a stable master again. And uh, in this time, we're going to use merge train to prevent master from being broken state. And let me briefly uh, explain how merge train works. So merge train is basically a queuing system that um, you can add multiple merge requests uh, into the train. And each merge request generates uh, expected merge commit and runs pipeline on it. So um, in this case, merge request 2 is going to create a merge commit as if merge request 1 has been merged into master branch. And then merge request 2 should have a failed pipeline. So let's start uh, the demonstration with merge train. All you need to do is going here, setting general and merge requests. And under the merge options, you see merge pipelines will try to validate the post merge result prior to merging. And enable this checkbox and save the change. And everything is set. And let's create uh, two merge requests. It has exactly the same content with the previous attempt. OK, now we have two merge requests again. This is merge request 1, which, uh, which changes one of the lint rules. And uh, this is merge request 2, which adds an um, empty method, which violates, the much, uh, which violates a lint rule. Uh, which was added by merge request 1. And what's the difference from the previous attempt is that now we are seeing this start merge train button. And we are going to add these two merge requests into merge train. Now we are seeing that this merge request at the uh, position one, and uh, the new pipeline is created for March on March train. And uh, here's a uh, March request two, and um, this March request two also uh, get on, uh, got on the March train and created uh, this pipeline for March train. And uh, as you can see, this March request one has been successfully merged into master branch. Uh, the pipeline has passed, and then uh, post pipeline shows that master is uh, not broken. Whereas this merge request 2 shows that pipeline uh, merge train failed. Let's see the reason. Yes, this is exactly the same uh, reason which we saw. Um, this pipeline on merge train failed uh, because it violated one of the lint rules and this merge request uh, was automatically uh, removed from the merge train and now um, yes we successfully prevented uh, muscle from being broken by merge request 2. Maybe later on, a developer is going to revisit this merge request and going to fix this um, this coding offense. Let's say let's add a sample script in the method and. Uh, pipeline for merged results is running again. Okay, 
let's try to put this match request into a match string again. Now um, pipeline on match train is running again and this time should succeed. Okay. It's successfully merged. And uh, most importantly, this merge, um, after this merge request being merged, it shouldn't break master branch. See, uh, this post, uh, post pipeline, post merge pipeline shows that it's uh, passed. The pipeline has passed. Here's a commit history on master branch. Is that um, we are seeing that uh, all commits made on master branch has a successful pipeline. So as a conclusion, we can say that uh, using merge train is very helpful to uh, save master branch from broken state. All maintainers can uh, can be more relaxed than ever when they hit merge button in merge requests because GitLab is going to um, validate each merge request on expected merge commit. So thank you for listening.